Hello and welcome to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Cartoon Illustration. Our story this week was by Brad Meltzner and it was illustrated or drawn by Chris Eliopoulos. So today we're going to learn how to draw Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in that same style, a cartoon style. What you'll need is a paper, pencil, a marker, and maybe some crayons. So go ahead and get your materials now and then come back when you're ready. Did you get all your stuff? I hope so. Well, let's get started. First, I'm just going to need my pencil and paper. I'm using regular printer paper. I'm going to start by drawing the face first of Dr. King. I'm going to start in the middle of my paper. So I'm going to start with a kind of circle shape. There we go, just like in the book. Next, I'm going to use two more circles for the eyes. I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between my circles. There we go. And we want to make these eyes look friendly, so we're going to have a little empty circle inside there. And we're going to fill in the bigger circles and leave the little circles empty to make the eyes look big and friendly. That little white part is to show the light shining on the eyes. Next, I'm going to draw a little U shape in between those eyes for the nose. And I'm going to draw another curvy line to be the smile. And that's at the bottom of the face. In between the nose and the face, we're going to do the mustache. And I'm going to have two curvy lines connected, kind of like a lowercase m. And at the bottom, I'm going to have one curvy line that connects the ends. I can fill it in, and it starts to look like the mustache. There we go. Next, we'll need some ears, so I'm going to use a half circle shape on both sides. See how that half circle, it lines up uh, right next to the eyes? Then I'm going to take my pencil and make a scalloped line, scalloped line, sorry, to make his hairline. And see how it comes up and across in the middle. And go ahead and fill in the hair with my pencil. The reason we're doing it with pencil first is if we mess up, we can erase it. I'm going to add one more little line under here just to show that he's smiling. So now we're done with the face, we're going to move on to the body. And Dr. King is always famous for wearing a suit. So I'm going to make two straight lines that come down from the face to build a rectangle body. There we go. Next, I'm going to put a large letter V right under the face. A big letter V. Next, I'm going to work on his tie. I'm going to make a tiny V inside that bigger one we just made. And then I'm going to have two more lines that come down from it like that. That's going to be his tie. Next, I'm going to have his lapels. Those are going to come down on the outside of that V, just like one more big V, and a straight line that comes down the middle. So there's the top of his suit. He's going to need some arms, so let's give him some rectangle-shaped arms. See, I'm using my straight lines to make rectangles. Right here, a big one, and then another little one on the end. I'm going to do the same kind of shape for his pants or trousers. I'm going to have rectangles and a line down the middle. Straight lines on the bottom. Next I'm going to make his shoes here. I'm going to use two curvy lines. Curvy line. And for his hands I'm also going to use curvy lines. Hands are kind of hard to draw but we're doing cartoon style so we can have simple hands just like that. Now it's time for me to get out that black marker you have one. I'm going to use that black marker to trace my lines that I've drawn. And if there's any lines that I don't like, I can get rid of those by erasing them. So I'm filling in the details of the face, the hair. You see I already filled in the eyes and the mustache. because Those are going to be completely black. Go. 
and I'm gonna outline all my other lines just to make sure they look nice and clear. Got my rectangle, body and arms, cuffs, shirt, shirt sleeve cuff, hands, trousers or pants, and the shoes. I'm gonna fill in the shoes too because normally he wore dark shoes. Right, so now that we've got our lines outlined with the marker, you can take a minute and add a background if you want to. So I'm putting him on a stage here. I made a horizontal line that looks like it comes behind him. And I drew another rectangle for a podium. And it's got a little microphone, like a straight line with a circle on it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and outline those with my marker. If you don't want to draw a background, that's okay. You don't have to do this part. This is optional. And just to show that he's giving a speech outside, I'm going to have the sun and a few clouds in the sky just to show that he is outdoors. There we go. All right. Now let's add some color. I'm going to choose my colors very wisely here because I want my picture, even though it's just a cartoon, I want it to look kind of like the real Dr. Martin Luther King. So his skin was shades of brown, and I'm going to use kind of a reddish brown for the cheeks. No matter who you are, you normally have at least a little bit of reddish color in your cheeks. And then I'm going to use other shades of brown to fill in the rest of his skin and face. And if you start with a lighter color and you decide you want to put in a darker color of brown, it's uh, okay to do that. By starting with a lighter color, you can always go a little bit darker. But if you start with a really dark color, you can't really make it any lighter. So I would say start with lighter colors and then add layers of darker browns if you want to. Now I came in and I said, mm, his skin was maybe a little darker than this. So I came in with a slightly darker color. I tried to blend those together to look kind of realistic. Try to do justice to Dr. King. There we go. Next, I'm going to use my crayons to start coloring his suit and tie. So I'm giving him a blue tie. And he would normally wear a dark suit. You could put him in any color suit. It's up to you. I was thinking about gray, but I, did, I couldn't find my gray, so I used... A black crayon instead and it has a cool look see how the crayon looks a little bit different than the marker like his suit looks different from the hair that's good it's a good thing I'm gonna leave the ends of his sleeves the small rectangles white because he's wearing a white shirt under there there we go now I'll use my crayons to color in my sky the Sun the stage the podium and there we have it a cartoon illustration of Dr. Martin Luther King. Don't forget to put your name on your work and send me a picture of what you made. Bye for now.